Leib Summer emphasizes the mission of the United States Naval Academy to develop midshipmen morally, mentally, and physically. In just six weeks, these young men and women will be taught the strong mental framework critical to becoming a successful naval officer. As they make the transition from civilian life to a strict military regimen, they will be instilled with a sense of personal honor, integrity, and dedication to the naval service. Through the shared experience of Cleve Summer, they will develop camaraderie with their classmates that will last a lifetime. Here, more than ever before, you will be challenged morally, mentally, and physically, and it will not be easy. But let's be clear, it's not supposed to be easy. Yesterday, the men and women to your left and right were strangers. Today, they are your classmates. Sooner than you think, they will become your shipmates, your best friends. In the dawn hours of induction day, parents say goodbye to their sons and daughters, placing them in the care of Plebe Summer Detailers. I'm just going on the first and last words out of your mouth will be so Yes, sir. The first and last words out of your mouth will be served. Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. The plebes are processed and medically screened, issued their uniforms, and given haircuts. Put on the wall behind me, in all capital letters, large letters, you can write your last name, your first name, your middle initial, Alpha Code, Company Code, all caps, all large letters. Good, put it down. All right, next we're going to show you guys how to salute properly. Present arms. Right hand goes up, feet at a 45, heels together, thumb on your senior trousers. His arm is parallel to the deck, and his forearm to his hand is all one straight line in and at the corner of his eyebrow. You don't want any bend, you don't want your hands going anywhere, you don't want to move your head to the side, nothing like that. Be straight line, parallel to the deck. Order arms.
As the sun sets over Tecumseh Court, friends and family gather to catch a glimpse of their transformed son or daughter at the Oath of Office ceremony. are briefly reunited. New haircuts and uniforms are admired and goodbyes are said. Summer begins. One, two, three. One, two, three. The plebes get their first taste of rigorous military training, beginning with their daily morning workout. The physical education program, or PEP, lasts for an hour and a half each morning. After completing this intense seven-week training program, a plebe will have completed almost 2,900 push-ups, 3,000 sit-ups, and 103 miles of running. The plebes learn a completely new way of life, centered on Bancroft Hall.
students learn about military basics, including naval organization and traditions. By the way, does anybody know what the front of the boat's called? Whichever side the wind is hitting, that's the The essence of the Navy is the sea. Each plebe learns the basic rules of boat handling and sailing. So today we'll be taking the plebes out for the third sailing class. They'll be familiarized with the maritime environment, learn uh, about the controls on the boat, how to be more comfortable on the water. They're going to learn about wind, weather, and tide, and it's going to affect them throughout their career in the Navy, whether they're flying planes or driving boats. You need to be able to uh, handle the, the weather and deal with the boat. So a little nomenclature out there, parts of the boat that will apply not only on a little Navy 26 like we sailed today, but also on warships. They'll also become more familiar with how wind affects their boat and how the tide will affect their boat, how to drive in that environment. The plebes practice the fundamentals of military drill and discipline. They participate in several parades, reviewed by the Commandant of Midshipmen. to lead in combat under all kinds of circumstances.
Uh, so what we're doing this morning is the obstacle course. try to simulate the battlefield here. One of the things that we really try to teach the plebes during this evolution is really to challenge themselves and to challenge their classmates. They're building that confidence that they need to become a future officer, but it also carries on through the rest of their time at the Naval Academy. This is the confidence course at the Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, the plebes are all coming out to do this one time for the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to build confidence, overcoming uh, fear of heights. Uh, they're gonna work in teams, mm -hmm. so they're gonna work together and ensure each other's safety. And at this course, they're going to be at a maximum of 30 feet off the ground. They have to perform different obstacles while they're going through the course at that height. They're going to climb up some bridges uh, that are made of rope. And then they're going to do some crossings where they're standing on a, a wire and walk across the obstacles. And there's going to be an island hopping position where they're going to have to jump across this bridge that's very unstable. And they're going to zip line down to the end of the course. Weapon safety and handling are central to any military training. Today we're out on the range in order to qualify the plebes from the class of 2020 on the M4 service rifle and the M11 9mm pistol. When they shoot pistol, we'll be shooting the M11. They'll shoot from 3, 7, and 15 yards uh, with different courses of fire ranging from two rounds in four seconds to four rounds in ten seconds with magazine change. So they'll go through a variety of uh, different courses of fire that will test their dexterity and their coordination with the pistol. When they're shooting the rifle they'll shoot from three positions. They'll be from prone, kneeling, and uh, ten rounds in ten minutes from the standing position. We teach the plebes this during plebe summer to introduce them to uh, proficiency with firearms in order to reinforce that warrior ethos that they'll be learning out here during the summer and during their next four years at the Naval Academy so that when they reach the fleet they'll be prepared to lead sailors and marines. Basic shipboard damage control and firefighting principles are taught and practiced on land and on board yard patrol craft. Basically what we do pretty much just give the new pleas a taste of what damage control is on the ship. Pipe patching is basically, if, if you have a rupture on the ship, we basically teach them how to secure that rupture. We just trying to minimize the flow of water to the space. Relay, we give them first hand how to throw on the SCBA, how to put on the boots, how to put on the firefighter and the flash hood and the helmet. We also teach them proper safety precaution, make sure that they have a two-person carry. In the Navy, anything over 50 pounds is a two-person carry. Hose handling, basically we give them the basic of how to handle a hose. And once they man the hose, they have to go fight that fire. We give them the basic understanding how to handle the hose, how to handle the nozzle, how to stand properly and engage the fire. Distinguished speakers share their thoughts and experiences regarding honor, integrity, and virtue. Honor is the foremost influential factor in the decision-making process of a naval officer. Integrity really comes down, and everyone pay attention to this. It's doing all those ethical things regardless of the consequences. Commander Lippold was the uh, commanding officer of the USS Cole, 
when he was attacked by an Al-Qaeda suicide bomber. Commander uh, Lippold said, this is our ship, we will not abandon it. We fail or we succeed here as a team. We do not ask someone else to come in and, and save our ship. We as a crew saved that ship. We as a crew saved our shipmates. And then we as a crew would get that ship out of port to come back where USS Cole is still serving our nation today. And I didn't end up with a split crew. To see how the plebes reacted after hearing that message. Absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna make three points tonight about courage. The first is to most effectively exercise courage as an officer, you need to put yourself at the decisive point. You have to put yourself right at the point of friction. The second point about courage is that courage is willpower. Courage is willpower. And the third is that courage is not superhuman. It is not superhuman. Courage is doing the commonplace under uncommonplace conditions. You own your character. It's just you. And I, I can't teach you that. And because every action is habit forming, and because what you do matters, there has to be a conscious decision to choose the hard right, not the easy wrong. It's a characteristic in yourself that has to start now. It has to start now because these four years will fly by so fast and that before you know it, you will be out leading sailors and marines. And you have to be able to fall back on that integrity. You have to be able to fall back on that character. And, and that's, the, that's the big point here, right? We can develop all those other skills. You have to own your character.